Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? I hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, let's do another What's New in Transformers. Yay! Love talking about some new stuff. I don't have it in hand. Just like do a little chit chat. So sit back and relax. Grab some popcorn, your favorite beverage. And let's talk about some new Transformers. All right, all right, all right. All right, up first we have add-on kits, add-on kits, add-on kits for days. And it looks like DNA Design is giving us a little upgrade kit for the Kong versus, or Godzilla versus Kong. But they're using Primal and Megatron from Beast Wars or the Kingdom line. And I think that's a nice little concept. So it looks like Primal is holding the axe that he has and everything. And then, you know, Megatron is has the fire breath uh, from Godzilla. I think this is a cool concept. Now, it doesn't show any, you know, color pics or anything like that. It just shows some uh, uh, blackout stuff and everything, but pretty cool. I mean, that's a great concept using, you know, the Megatron and the Primal as a con, which I actually just got done watching that tonight. It looked really good. The humans were stupid, but man, there's some intense fighting and I really liked it. But yeah, this is a really nice little concept. So DNA, DNA Designs DK-41 is giving us some uh, Godzilla versus Kong kind of thing going on. So that's pretty cool. Then up next, we got this custom 3D printed mall cover uh, for the War for Cybertron, Cybertron, you know, the HasLab Unicron. So a lot of people were upset that the uh, middle, you know, the outer rings were not going to be orange like it was showed in earlier picks. They made it blue. Well, this guy off it's, it's a trunk key off a TW a TFW 2005 made a 3D printed the orange color. So looks pretty cool. I mean, if you want to you know look him up, like I said, it's trunk key T R U N K K E Y. He's off TW uh, TFW 2005. If you want to look him up? Maybe he can 3D print you one if you got the Haslab Unicron, and everybody can be happy. So there you go. Pretty cool stuff. Well, all right, folks, that's all we have for add-on kits. Let's move on to one of my favorite things, Legends. A new age Galvatron is coming out. And like I said, there's like 13,000 repaints. So we have the toy version, uh, which is the City Commander G1 Galvatron. Uh, we got some new pics of him. Uh, this is Darius. Like I said, this is the toy version. The cannon has the sparkles and everything. You got, it looks really cool. Uh, I got mine. I pre-ordered mine. Or I, I have mine already shipped out from uh, Show Z and everything. So I'm so excited for this guy. So he's come out. Here's some box art as well, too. So pretty cool. I'm looking forward to this one. Then they showed the box art for the uh, new King, uh, New Age King Galvatron and Dark Mount. So the King Galvatron, I think, is the one that's going to be shiny. You know, it's going to have like a metallic paint to it. And it comes with the planet. You know, remember the uh, uh, that episode when he became a planet or something? I think it was uh, Headmasters. I think it was. I may be wrong. Hit me up in the comments, tell me which one that was from. But you can see on the box, it shows him as a planet or Cybertron. And then we got Dark Mount as well coming too. Um, I think these are two still up for pre-order at Show Z. I'm definitely gonna get these two when they come in. And I got the clear one as well coming in, the transparent one. I have that one already shipped to me as well. So man, Galvatron, Galvatron, Galvatron everywhere for New Age. Awesome, awesome. Then New Age showed us some uh, new like renders and you know comparison picks to the G1 cartoon of their uh, Constructicons or Devastator, and they also showed some for Ultra Magnus as well. So you can see some comparisons of him combined and everything. So he does look a more, a little more stylized than what the G1 uh, looks like, and that's fine. The New Age does not always look like it. Now Magic Square, they look like straight off the, you know, the cartoon and everything. But this looks pretty good. So they show him, you know, you know, as Devastator. Uh, they show a couple of Extracticons, and like I said, they do show Ultra Magnus 2 coming. So pretty cool. I'm really excited for them. I can't wait for them to even, you know, start putting out their Minasaur. You know, they're supposed to put out Minasaur first, but um, they may, you know, switch it back and forth like a uh, fans. Uh, toys is doing they were doing with their uh, uh, aerial bots and their um, uh, stunticons you know they were giving us one of those and then one of those so they may give us you know some stuff from Minasaur and also some stuff from uh, you know Devastator so we'll see so yeah New Age is giving us uh, all this good stuff and also New Age dropped this on us they're giving us Optimus Prime which you know everybody thought that Magic Square gave us one already and it looks like it's a uh, prototype picks because he's got different colors orange green and blue Everything. So this is not final colors. I hope not. It could be. You know, who knows? It could be a G2 Optimus Prime. But like I said, we are getting a Optimus Prime from New Age, and I'm I'm excited. A good scale. I mean, I don't know, man. B is a little short. I think he usually comes up to the crotch at least of Optimus Prime, doesn't he? I don't know. Scale is you know whatever. Eye of the beholder. But hey, we're getting an Optimus Prime from New Age, and I'm excited. All right. And let's not forget about Magic Square. You know they're putting out stuff all the time. So like I said, we did see this earlier uh, Perceptor. 
and we got some comparisons in the animation model as well. Uh, you also got both modes, you know, the telescope and the, or I'm sorry, not telescope, Shiva's, the microscope and in, in, you know, bot mode as well. And you got some back shots as well. It looks good now. My boy Chuck, he, he mentioned this, man, that lens is really small. Like it don't even, you know, it just pointing down at something like the floor or something like that, or I don't know, but you know, I didn't really notice that until he said that. I was like, oh man, it does look kind of kind of small, but it's fine. Perceptor looks good. Uh, I'm ex I'm excited to get a uh, Perceptor from the Legend scale, and uh, that's awesome. So I'm expecting for New Age to show theirs probably you know sometime in the next hour or two, uh, but we'll see. But yeah, Magic Square Legends Perceptor is coming our way. Well, all right, folks, that's all we have for Legends news. Let's move on to third-party MP scale news. It looks like Fans Hobby is giving us updated prototype images of MB-14. I think this is Hosehead. I don't know the third-party name for him, but, you know, this is one of the junior headmasters. And, yeah, I'm definitely in on those. I got Minerva. Wasn't really excited for Minerva, you know, wasn't, you know, happy with Minerva that much, but I'm definitely going to get the uh, rest of them just, you know, just because I have to have junior headmasters. I don't think anybody else is going to make them anytime soon, so might as well. I think that's what's good about Fans Hobby. They're making a lot of stuff that, you know, a lot of people, other, you know, companies are probably not going to make, so yeah, but this is new updated prototype images of MB-14 Hosehead. All right, good stuff. All right, so it looks like MMC is giving us a female torn. This is IF-01 Eris. Uh, she's going to be the first figure in the Infinite Fit Infinity line by Ocular Max. Now, a lot of people thought this was, you know, April Fool's joke because they put this out on April Fool's uh, this year. Now, I think they showed it last year as well, and a lot of people didn't think it was real, and it wasn't at the time, but... I, I just pre-ordered it, and it's supposed to be released on May 1st. Uh, Planet Still Express is going to be a exclusive to them. I don't think anybody else is going to be able to get this one. Uh, but yeah, I just pre-ordered it, so I'm hoping it's real. They, you know, got the PayPal money from me, so <laughs> hopefully it is real and everything. But yeah, we're getting a female uh, cult or, or you know, you know, uh, torn and everything. It looks really good. So uh, the height is going to be about 20.5 centimeters. So about eight inches, going to have 71 points of articulation, uh, removable mask, uh, the hand, you know, fingers are going to be articulated as well, Artic articulated tank treads, and functioning tank turret and everything. So pretty cool. So I'm looking forward to it. So like I said, they did take my money, so hopefully I'll get it. So yeah, this is new from uh, MMC. This is Ocular Max. This is Eris, or Lady Eris, and this is uh, going to look pretty good. Um, I'm excited for this. Uh, is anybody else getting this? Hit me up in the comments. And we got some more MMC news as well. Ocular Max PS-22 Ventus. Uh, this is their R47 Ex Exitus. Uh, they showed us a banyo. This is Blades. This is their Protective Bots. And it shows, you know, the alt mode, the bot mode, and the combined mode and everything. So it looks pretty cool. Pretty cool. And also they showed us some renders of their combined mode of Defensor as well. This is Ocular Max and everything. This is MMC. And they showed it next to the Bruticus and also the female culture as well that I just talked about. And it looks pretty good. Like I said, this is where they have the add-on, you know, parts, everything that's included and everything. So they don't have any parts for or anything like that. Uh, so they showed us pics like that. Now, it looks like they're the same height with Bruticus. I always thought that Defensor would be shorter than Bruticus. But... Oh, well. Anyway, so there's some pics like that, and they do show, show some comparison pics. Also, now, x Transbot showed us a pic of their command, or, you know, combiner, uh, you know, uh, Defensor as well. Golly, couldn't get it out. Uh, and it looks pretty good, too. Now, I don't see any parts forming on the x Transbots. I was really hoping there may be some, you know, like I said, this is a render. Uh, maybe when we see some, you know, prototype pics and everything. I just don't see anything on it right now. So I hope they do include some, uh, you know, some of that stuff and everything because it makes it more stable and everything. So uh, I think both of them look good. I'm definitely in on the x Transbots. I don't know about the Ocular Max. I didn't go in on the Bruticus. But I might get them to for my uh, like maybe bot mode or something like that. But I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but they both look you know pretty good. I'm excited. We're having defense rewards. Uh, I'm waiting for Fans Toys to announce theirs probably or something like that. But yeah, so new stuff from Ocular Max and X Transbots for combined mode or their defensor. All right, folks, that's all we have for MP Scale third party news. Uh, let's move on to uh, some custom work. Like I said, I like to throw in some stuff that you know some custom work that people do and everything. Now on the last what's new, I showed this. It was. Work in progress but it looks like we have something finished from get right robot this is the member of the optimus prime that are the uh, i'm sorry the x transbots gravestone which was motor master they painted it to uh you know include to be optimus prime and it looks like it's finished and it looks freaking awesome 
oh my god i love the colors it looks really nicely done it looks like they put the mp44 head on top of them as well but they you know they you know recolored everything making them look like optimus prime and man both modes look freaking awesome whoever got this commission man you got a good piece right there so yeah very nicely done i love it man Good job. Good job, Get Right Robot. Also, I'll talk about this guy, uh, Doom Shroom FX. Uh, on the last one, he he's doing a Scorponok. He just showed the head sculpt. Now he shows the chest and everything. So it looks pretty good so far. So definitely look this guy up. Uh, he's a Doom Shroom FX. I think it's on Facebook. Um, I think you can pre-order because he's making the Inferno uh, for Beast Wars as well. So I'm sure he's going to have a pre-order for this guy if you want a, like an MP scale Scorponok. Uh, it's going to be transformable too as well. You know, like I said, so far it looks so good. I love the head sculpt. It looks really nice. So yeah, look up Doom Shroom FX and uh, see if you can pre-order some uh, Scorponok in your life. All right? Well, all right, folks, that's all we have for custom news. Let's move on to official. And we got in head images of Netflix War for Cybertron Wave 3 Sparkless Seeker. All right, this is a rusty dead rede redeco of the Siege Seeker mold. And it comes with a Battle Master Sparkless Singe and Sparkless Calibers as well. So they're going to be just basically recolors. I'm excited for these, man. I'm still looking for the Netflix Wave 2 uh, deluxes and everything with the rusty, uh, you know, uh, barricade. Uh, but this is, I'm definitely getting them. I love the Seeker mold. So, yeah, we got new head, in head images of Wave 3 Sparkless Seeker. He's coming at you. I love the blast effects, too, man. Come on now, let's get some more. And we also got some new in hand images of the Wave 3, also Optimus Primal and Rat Trap 2 pack. Uh, these figures are redecos of the Kingdom Voyager Optimus Primal and Core Rat Trap in kind of darker colors, uh, colors with some extra paint apps and everything. I, I mean, there's not really a big difference. I, you know, I have both of these, so probably going to pass on these. Uh, but yeah, but if you missed, you know, a chance to get these two in the first time, I, you know, that gives you uh, a better chance to get these and everything. So uh, Rat Trap shows more noticeable darker colors and silver paint apps, and his arms have been replaced with dark brown paint. So that's pretty cool. And Autos Primal looks pretty similar to the original release, but with the darker colors and small changes in the deco. Uh, so like I said, if you miss your, uh, you know, chance to get the first, you know, first two at the, you know, first wave. <laughs> My God, I couldn't get it out. Here's your chance to get a two pack. So Netflix, Optimus Primal, and Rat Trap. All right, we also got some new images of the Revenge of the Fallen 3-0 Deluxe Jetfire and also a uh, combined mode as well with Optimus Prime. This comes separately. They don't come together, but man, I know you, like I said on the last time when I showed a little couple pictures of him, you may not like the character, but man, this thing looks beautiful. So much detail. I know it's going to be painted so well. I um, mean, 3 Zero does a really great product, and everything. And the combined mode, man, he looks huge. Oh my God. I don't know where else I'm going to, I don't know where I'm going to put this thing. But man, they already got pre orders up for both of them. Uh, it's, yeah, this thing looks really freaking awesome. Oh my God. Gosh, Jetfire, man, look at all that sculpt work and everything. Oh, I can't wait. Can't wait to get this. So, yeah, new images of Revenge of the Fallen 3-0 Deluxe Jetfire. Oh, combined mode. Man, that's a lot of stuff going on right there, buddy. <laughs> but it looks good. Uh, I'm excited. So it looks like Transformer 7 has found their lead role actor. So Anthony Ramos, uh, I never heard of this guy. He is in final negotiations to star in the Transformer movie for Paramount and Hasbro that has Stephen Capel Jr. directing. Uh, he had a breakout role in Hamilton uh, and then also has been on with uh, maybe Bradley Cooper to do a, uh, a Star is Born remake and everything. So that's pretty cool. So the plot details are being kept under wraps, but Ramos is in negotiations to play a flawed and vulnerable hero who has made mistakes in his life and is eager to redeem himself with the help of Optimus Prime. So yeah, Mr. Anthony is going to get the lead role for Transformers 7, and uh, you know I'm looking forward to it. I love seeing some Transformers in the movie theater again. So yeah, there you go. Anthony is going to be the lead role. And then we have news on another Transformer movie that uh, has Angel Manuel Soto is dropping some info. So the director of the upcoming Untitled Transformer movie arrived in a chat with the uh, with uh, some people and everything and shared, shared some tidbits on the new venture. Uh, so it looks like uh, Mitchell stated he that promises the new transfer movie will take place outside the United States. Uh, the story does not involve the military and also stated that completely outside the Bayverse. Uh, additionally, the director described the uh, movie in question. He got a call from Paramount about the 2020 Sundance Film uh, Festival where he was showcased for Charm City Kings. 
Uh, the Los Angeles production company expressed their interest to make a new and different Transformer project with him. Uh, he pitched, uh, personally, he pitched an idea for Paramount and Hasbro, and the two companies liked the idea and gave it a green light. So we're getting another. I don't know if this one is the Beast Wars one, or is this a different one? Is this, I, I have no idea. I, how many Transformer movies are we getting? Um, I'm excited, but, you know, tell us. How many? We're supposed to get a Beast Wars, Bumblebee 2. We're getting this one, and we're getting another one with Anthony. Like, come on now. But they may be, Anthony might be the one for this one, too, as well. I don't know. So, yeah, Transformers 7 and Transformers something untitled movie is uh, moving along. All right. And last but not least, it looks like Figpin uh, is giving us Transformer collector, collection announced. O open orders will be April 7th. So it looks like Entertainment Earth is giving us exclusive pins. I, mean, I had to look this up. I never even heard of these. So we're getting pins. Soundwave It's going to be limited to 2,000 pieces. Uh, we also have Optimus Prime, Megatron, Starscream, and Jazz. So it looks like Optimus Prime and Megatron will be a run of three uh, 3,000. Starscream is going to be 2,000. And Jazz is going to be also 3,000. And then Bumblebee is going to be a Target exclusive due later this spring. So we're getting pins, I guess, of these guys. I don't know. They're officially licensed, so you know they're they're legit. Everything. So yeah, Fig Pin is giving us Transformers collection announced, and uh, they got pre-orders on April seventh. So if you want some pins, here you go. Well, all right, folks. That's all we have for news this week, man. It's once again so excited to be a Transformer collector, man. We got new legends, Galvatrons everywhere. We got Defensor Wars. Uh, we got custom stuff. We got new uh, Netflix stuff, man. Can't wait. We got Constructicons, man. Anyways, hit me up with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go ahead and hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. Hit me up in the comments. Tell me what you're excited for. And I guess I'll see you on the next What's New in Transformers. And as always, be good to yourself. Hell has, bro. And good night, folks.